Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary. It is Mask Monday, so happy Mask Monday, Mask Monday ladies, and everyone else who decided to do a mask today. Happy Mask Monday to you as well. Well, I do have two masks, eye mask and sheet mask, and I cannot remember for the life of me what these masks are or who they're from. I don't know. I may have thrown the box away. There were a few in my mask box, but I don't know who they're from. I have used them. I know they feel amazing under my eyes, especially when I remove them, but I don't know where I got them from, <laughs> but I'm going to move on. I also have a sheet mask by Playlist and it is Nourishing Ultra Hydration Sheet Mask 3D Hydration Complex. Definitely hydration is what I need. I am going to apply these and then I will get into talking about transitioning into the colder months as far as skincare goes because I do switch out I do switch out my skincare routine uh, from season to season because my skin does request a little bit more care in the winter months than it does in the summer. However, due to medication and everything else that I had going on uh, for a few months now, almost a year, I kind of had a lot of issues with my skin. I was not taking care of it the way I should have on top of a lot of things going on with my skin. But let's go ahead and apply these and these are very, very moist. So I do love these. They feel amazing. I did get them out of the refrigerator. So there's a lot of serum in here. So they are very, very cold. And I know squirrel. I always have squirrel. Always. And here we go. And I am applying the thicker part out onto my crow's feet. It is getting a little defined or a lot defined. <laughs> Not sure if I'm liking it, but it is what it is. So those are applied and now let's go ahead and get into the face mask. Um, now the skincare that I had for the summer is usually a very light, um, almost water gel like uh, moisturizer is what I use. And then I use my sunscreen obviously, but it has a lot to do with, my skin is very, very dry. However, in the summer months, I do a lot more drinking water and I know I should drink it in the winter too, but I do notice that I drink a lot more water in the summer. So my skin is not as dry it's still dry, but not as dry. So I'm not needing all of the extra hydration and moisture and all of the extras that come with winter skincare. And I like this, it has a lot of serum. I'm not sure if you can see all the shiny liquid on my hands, but here we go. And it feels so good. As I said, I take them out of the refrigerator. So for summer, as I was saying, um, for summer I do end up doing a little bit more water drinking. My skin is more hydrated and therefore requires a lot less of the hydration and moisture and everything that comes with the winter months. But I will talk about what I've already retired which were things that I had in my empties I did finish them up I know the winter months are not yet here however because I have just finished skincare products I went ahead and just started what I'm going to start no sense in opening something up for summer months if summer is gone so I went ahead and got colder weather products and I'm going to show you uh, the products. I always keep them in the box so that's where they're going to be shown from. Doesn't mean I'm not using them, just means that that's where I keep them. So 
The reason I needed extra, extra hydration is, and I know I am blowing this one up because, because of all of the damages that, or all the damage that happened to my skin uh, this past year, this is my go-to. Although it is a scrub and although it is something that is supposed to be removing excess whatever's on your skin, it does not dry out my skin anymore. Uh, than it already is. It doesn't damage it and it feels amazing. Now I'm going to apply something on my hand and then I'm going to talk about the skincare and then come back and show you what it is that I do on my face. So I'm going to apply it. It is a scrub. I'm not sure if you can see texture on it, but it is a scrub. And I'm going to leave it there to dry out a little. And now let's go ahead and get into the product. I know I talked about it, I did the unboxing, and I did talk about it again and again. This is my go-to when it comes to trying to fix my skin. And then once it's fixed because it just, it gives me results. And that's all I can say is it gives me results. I'm at a loss for words here, uh, but it is a gamage. And the gamage that I use, which is what I'm going to show you here, is a lot different than just using a regular scrub. And I went searching when I first received it um, some years ago. And I went searching to what gamage really meant. I didn't know at the time what it meant. And I found some videos and it looked so relaxing. Much more relaxing when someone else is doing it for you. But it is just me doing that on my skin. It still feels amazing and it provides amazing results for me. Not that it's for everyone, but definitely check it out. I will link the information down below in the description box if this is something that you would like to order. If you do a subscription for it uh, through the website, which is Skin & Co. Um, if you do a subscription for it, it is a little bit less money and it's worth the money. That's all I'm going to say. Now I'm going to get into the products that I am starting for the colder months. Hydration, hydration, hydration. Alamis, and I do have several of these little ones that I picked up from Ipsy. And these are Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. And the cleanser, I didn't bring it in because I'm using several different cleansers that I'm trying to, to use up with a lot of the sample size, the deluxe sample sizes. So I'm, I don't have a set routine just quite yet, I'm trying to get those out of my boxes. So I'm gonna start with the toner. Toner is something that I absolutely 100% will use every single time right after cleansing my skin. I did apply it before applying the mask and then I will apply the skincare once I remove the mask. But Alamis, and this one is Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. It's refreshing. Uh, facial lotion and let me go ahead and get my little magnifying thing uh, reflect refreshing facial toner lotion tonique I was trying to read a different language I always do always always do it says that it helps to revitalize and hydrate rehydrate the skin uh, moisten a cotton or wool pad I don't do that. I usually just apply it to my hands and pat it into my skin until my skin has absorbed it. That's just the way that I do it. Um, but you're welcome to put it onto a cotton round and apply it to your skin. My way is just something that I've done a lot. I also do apply a um, essence. But right now that I'm trying to repair my skin, I'm trying to add as the least amount of products as, as possible onto my skin so I am keeping it at a minimum so the essence is one of those things that I am skipping at the moment but once I can get it retexturized I will definitely start incorporating it again and for me it's just because too many products will start kind of feeling heavy and I 
just feel like it's clogging my pores. It may not be, it may be helpful, but I don't feel that it is on my skin. So that's why I'm skipping that particular step, but it is something that I use. Um, next I have a serum and I always use a serum right now. I do have an essence serum mask, so I'm not, I'm going to bypass this one once I remove the mask. Um, Glow Recipe happens to be the one that I have open at the moment. I love it. And I think this is probably my third, fourth, I don't know, however many I have received. I do receive a lot of them in my boxes. Um, this one I just opened uh, this past week. And this is one that I received in one of my, I believe it was my Busy Beauty box. I want to say that that's where I received it. It is a pump really nice it's a very nice scent as well it's watermelon my absolute favorite it is a summer type serum but it is hyaluronic acid and I need as much hydration as I could possibly get I'm going to read what's on here because I thought it was pretty interesting um, let me get it into the Spanish portion of it or the English portion of it not Spanish it says, this concentrated formula is your go-to serum for plump, radiant skin. The Silky Water Gel Serum features a unique blend of three types of plum, including vitamin C, kakadu plum, I know that always makes me laugh. Um, lost my, my place. Kakadu plum, helping boost the skin for a youthful appearance with hyaluronic acid and vegan collagen that delivers protective antioxidants. For deep hydration, the formula contains five weights of hyaluronic acid, ultra low, low, medium, medium high, ultra high, to target different layers of the skin. With added firming vegan plant collagen, the skin is hydrated immediately and throughout the day. And I do feel that, that is what's happening with me. Um, it says apply before moisturizer, one to two pumps, which is what I usually do. Apply to face and neck until fully absorbed, AM and PM. And I do use it AM and PM as far as that goes. And it says, what is plump skin? So plump skin is juicy, youthful, and healthy looking skin. And when I read that, it kind of reminded me of a plum if you really look at the plum while it's still just ready to eat, it, it that is the description for it. It's juicy and plump and no wrinkles on it. But once it starts aging, you can see the wrinkles on it. And that's just life. Next, I have a Dr. Prant DNA Do Not Age. And I'm going to go ahead and read it first, and then I will show you the amazing packaging that comes with this particular moisturizer. So for this, it says, Do not age with Dr. Brandt, time-defying cream, formulated with Dr. Brandt's skin-transforming system. This sensorial lamellar formula meets at skin temperatures to deliver the power of juvenescence comple complex designed to... Fuel your skin daily with vital energy and help the look of sagging skin, loss of volume and density and wrinkles. After one day, start, it starts to replenish your skin with hydration. After two weeks, it improves the look of sagging skin, smooths lines and wrinkles. And after one month, it gives back youth and harmony to your face. Uh, at the bottom it says Dr. Brandt recommends apply on cleansed skin AM and PM due to the presence of botanical ingredients This product may change in color over time and I did finish one of these uh, Before and it never changed color on me, but I am advised that that is a possibility so Because of the packaging I do keep it in a box don't ask why gorgeous packaging that would look amazing on my dresser and I cannot bring myself to take it out of the box and put it there. It's just something that I have about boxes, keeping things in their box. I don't know, call it OCD, call it what you may, 
but it is something that I struggle with and I have to keep things in their boxes. So it is a gorgeous, gorgeous container. This is how it opens and it is just simply amazing. So the packaging itself just speaks volumes. This is a pricey product. It is still on the website, so it's not something that has been discontinued. Um, this was a gift from a friend. Uh, she knew that I had several other Dr. Brandt products, so she went ahead and gifted it to me and said that I would probably benefit more from it because I could combine it with the other products that I already had. Love you, girl. You know who you are. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one that I have, and it is a Dr. Brandt. So I am pairing them together, and it is the Time Arrest V-Neck V-Zone Neck Cream. Uh, platinum technology and age resetting. It helps moisturize and smooth and retains moisture. It is a highly moisturizing um, cream. I prefer to use it at night. It does say AM and PM. However, I just feel more comfortable doing it at night. Um, and I don't know why. Maybe it's me layering things differently, but it only happens with this particular cream that my foundation peels. I don't know why. It just peels. So this is the packaging. Again, gorgeous packaging that could easily go on my dresser and look super bougie, but <laughs> I choose to keep it in a box. And that is what I have for Mask Monday. The transitioning of skincare products from summertime warmer weather to the colder weather. Let me go ahead and remove this and then I'll continue. So there was a giveaway from last Mask Monday and I did say that I would announce the winner today and I'm going to. So the winner for that giveaway and it is a pampering type giveaway so there are some products that you can use to pamper yourself. Just get away from life, just relax, forget about the world and just pamper yourself. So for that, the winner is Debbie Lowry. Debbie, just reach out to me either on TikTok or Instagram. Congratulations. I greatly appreciate that you have been with me for a minute and have always come back time and again. I know I've been MIA, but you continue to come back and thank you for that. I appreciate it. So that is the winner. <laughs> I just messed this one up. I'm going to leave these on for just a little longer. But now let's go ahead and talk about the mask because it is still here. And what I do is I let it dry. And I'm just showing you what I do on my skin for it. So I just roll it around on my skin just to remove all of the... Um, any. Uh, impurities that I may have or the dead skin and as you can see it starts lifting so these are things that start coming in there we go which is that there and those are just my way of I don't know if that's how it happens I want to believe that that is how it happens because my skin does glow afterwards but it removes all of the imperfections in dead skin. And if you go in circular motion, I feel that it's just rolling whatever is coming off and putting it into the cream itself to remove it. And that is what I have for Mask Monday once again. Thank you all for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed, smile always. Bye.